Hi, my name is Nathan Long, and I'm here to talk about the Carolina series, so remembering that series, um, series that I have. Um, so the Carolina series was probably the best series for me in the playoffs, even though it was a four-game sweep for the Bruins. It was a great series. Um, so basically, um... Excuse me. Uh, the Boston Bruins were playing great hockey. They had beat Toronto in seven, and they had beat Columbus in six. And I was excited. When they beat Columbus, I ran out my door and came in through the back. Um, and then I screamed some more out of joy. And when they ran into Carolina, Carolina had sweat. They had beat the Capitals in seven. I was pretty upset about that one. And they had uh, beat the Islanders in four, um, which was unexpected as well. Um, I was not happy about facing Carolina because I thought it was a bad matchup for the Bruins. And um, so I told my dad and I told YouTube too. You can go back and look at my preview. It's going to be Carolina in six. I thought Carolina and San Jose were going to the Stanley Cup final. And I was going to vote for San Jose, of course, um, because I, I do like San Jose. Um, but I was okay whoever won that series, San Jose or St. Louis, because St. Louis hadn't gotten their shot on a, at a Stanley Cup for a long time. Um, that would change uh, later. Um, but, yeah. Uh, um so, game one rolls around, and my dad was going to the Carolina Hurricanes playoff games in Carolina. Um, so, we are watching, and they were able to pull off a victory, and I was pretty surprised. I was like, well, that kind of makes it a series. Uh, we won game one. That's good. Um, that means we have an advantage to whatever they're going to do to us in game two. Um, uh... Game two, I think, was a, a combination of the whole team playing bad, the power play being abysmal, and Morazic was not good. Um, game two rolled around, and Boston just starts slaughtering Carolina, and I do mean slaughtering. They wrecked Carolina. Um, I think it was six to two. Um, and I remember it kind of bothered me that Rob Brendamore wasn't pulling Morassic. I was like, dude, why are you not? I like Rob Brendamore. I think he's a good coach. Um, uh, He's about the only guy I like in the whole organization. But, you know, I didn't know why I didn't pull him. I was like, if I were Peter Morassic, I would be very upset. But texting my dad pretty much every time Boston got a goal, I texted him, we got a goal, and then I would send him the goal horn. Uh for the Boston Bruins, and I was like, this is great, I mean, 2 nothing is, like, that's a, a good, good lead, um, I'm pretty happy about that, um, and, uh, anyway, um, game three rolls around, and they're in Carolina, and they had not lost at home, so I wasn't too happy about that, but, you know, I, I had confidence in the Bruins, um, and they go in, and they score two goals, and they go, wow, they're gonna win, like, that's very cool, three nothing series lead, um, that means we'll probably win the series, um, because that doesn't really happen, um, I mean, it happened a few times, but, nah, um, uh, I was confident that we were going to win the series, and all of a sudden, they score on Rask. Not a leaky kind of goal, but Rask was still playing fantastic that game. Rask was amazing this whole series. Um, I think better than he was in any of the series. Um, but anyway, Tuka Rask, he, and that gave Caravan the life, but they weren't able to score. And Boston wasn't able to score on the empty net. Um, but 
I cheered when Carolina lost at home because I was like, yes, this is it. I mean, this is we may go to the Stanley Cup final a day after tomorrow. So, this is what I heard before game four. Uh, Justin Williams was on the Kings when they came back from 3 nothing down on the San Jose Sharks. Um, Boston blew a 3 nothing lead to Philadelphia. So, since Caroline has Justin Williams and they're playing against Boston, Boston's going to blow up this 3 nothing series. Like, that's what I heard from some Carolina fans. And I was like... <sighs> For those of you who don't know, at this time, I really hated Carolina. I didn't think they were a good hockey city. I thought the bunch of jerks storm surge celebration was kind of cocky and disrespectful. Um, uh, you know, I, I, I thought that some of their players were overrated. Um, I just, I didn't really like, I, I hated Carolina. I didn't like them at all. And so I'm preparing for Boston and San Jose because I think this is right around the time San Jose got that hand pass. Um, thing, and they led the series 2-1, to one, and it looks like San Jose might have been, um, able to do it, and so I was preparing, I was like, oh, San Jose and Boston are gonna face each other, I'm gonna root for Boston, but, like, I'm not, I'm just gonna watch the games and be happy, no matter what happens, that's great, that's pretty cool, um, but, um, we'll get to that in a second. Boston, uh, McElhinney, they had played McElhinney for Game 3 and Game 4. McElhinney looked like he was on a roll in Game 4, and he just, they weren't able to, like, that was not, Carolina was still just awful outside of him. And they scored four unanswered goals. And they won this year's, and I went crazy. I was so happy. Um, I thought it was it was it was cool because I th I thought that um, Tuka Rask, you know, is going to get his shot at winning the Stanley Cup without Tim Thomas. Um, and I loved Tuka Rask in that series. Before that series, he had showed some things that season of. And maybe we shouldn't stick with him. No, we shouldn't get rid of Tuka Rask. He's awesome. In that playoff, he, he sh showed it. Remember, that's the first playoff that, I mean, uh, the previous year before, I was into the Bruins. I really liked the Bruins. And they got, you know, beaten by Tampa in five. And this year, I was really, really into them, and they made it all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals. So I was really happy, and, you know, they looked like they could do something um, in the finals. And um, Carolina fans, obviously, were livid after that. They were so angry at Boston. Um, but, you know... Boston was on to the finals. It was really great. Um, meanwhile, um, San Jose and St. Louis, San Jose had find a way to choke again. And they lost it. And I kind of cheered when St. Louis won it because I was like, yeah, St. Louis is going to be in the finals for the first time since 1970. It's going to be a rematch in 1970. That's kind of cool. I'm going to root for Boston a thousand percent. And I said that, but... Okay, that's kind of cool. I wish San Jose would have made that finals because then I wouldn't have been, uh, then, uh, the finals, um, may have gone better for me. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, may have gone better as, for me as a fan. Um, but I love the finals, the final series, even though the Bruins lost in seven, and I'll get to that in the next video. It was still a great series, and um, the, the Bruins played really, really well in that final. They just mm, lost in Game 7, and uh, but I'll get to that in another video. Um, but uh, yeah, um, bye guys, thumbs up, subscribe.